Hey guys, Jimmy God here, and today I'm gonna be showing you the Chantilly Lane animated home bee. I got this at a thrift shop in a big bin, which I got a few other items I reviewed before in. Um, I got it for a really cheap price, cause why not? Now this guy, when I got him, had two minor but easily repairable problems. The first and foremost one being that his batteries were completely dead. And they were the original in-store demo batteries, by the way. So I just gave him brand new batteries and he works. Now the second problem is that he didn't move at all, mainly because his motor was locked up. So I just took him apart, um, went into the mechanism, spun the motor, and boom, he's moving again. And afterwards, he's fully working. And um, I figured that um, this is actually the first time I've been inside of a singing bear or a similar character's um, mechanism, or one that's made by Chantilly Lane. And I figured that the mouthpiece that makes the mouth move would actually have like a flap underneath, which would hold the plastic piece in place, and that's how the mouth would move. That, however, is not the case. At least not to me it is, and I don't think it is with this character. I think it is with the bears, but definitely not this guy. The mouth moved so well because the fabric on the inside of the mouth was glued to the mouthpiece. That's why the mouth moved. Um, if the glue ever did come undone um, from the uh, mouthpiece, then the, then the mouth wouldn't move as much. So when I took them apart, I had to take out the original glue, or take off the original glue, actually. Yeah, I had to undo the glue that was on the mouth just to get the whole thing apart, just to free up the motor. Afterwards, I re-glued the mouth, and uh, the mouth wasn't originally like this when I got it. Um, it's, a, it's a bit crooked, but it's no biggie, really. So yeah, I just glued the mouthpiece, or glued the mouth back onto the mouthpiece, and it's like as if he was never broken in the first place. So I guess you could say he's in like new condition now, because that's pretty much what he is. Anyway, this guy moves his head and mouth as he does a little um, Valentine's poem in a hip-hop rap form, and then plays his own rap and rendition of Sugar Sugar. And he also has the original tag. Now, originally there was a pink um, price tag on him, which read the price. I think I got it for like um, 80 cents, because it was on um, sale or something like that. So obviously I just tore it off and... Yeah, like I said, looks as if he was never broken to begin with. And I was actually considering selling this because I wasn't too interested in, in it at first. But looking back on it now, I, I kind of regret not getting one of these because he's actually kind of cool. So, um, yeah, I actually might end up keeping him for myself. Sorry. And by the way, he's actually becoming kind of hard to find because last time I checked, there weren't that many on eBay. Or there weren't really any on eBay last time I checked. So, these are actually becoming pretty hard to find, so, uh, yeah, that's, I guess that's one more reason to keep this in my collection, right? But anyways, let's take a look at the tag. <clears throat> it reads, Chantilly Lane Musicals. And then, here, it reads, you could go ahead to pause and read that. And then, making history one hug at a time, two from, and the back of the tag reads, Sugar Sugar, 1969, 19, uh, 1997, Sony, or sorry, ATV Songs, LLC, 19-inch Home B. All right, now we'll show the Chantilly Lane animated Home B in action. So here you go. And uh, another aspect with this guy is that his antennas aren't really standing up like they should. I think they're supposed to, but uh, I don't know if there's anything I can really do to get the antennas to stand up um, 
like they probably did back when this guy was in actually new condition. And I know this is a bit of a nitpick right here, but um, you see this um, black and yellow striped thing? It's actually kind of like a little dress for him, because, look, you can actually, I think it's removable, too. Um, but if you want to remove it, you'd have to undo some stitching somewhere, I don't know, but... So if you, in case you were wondering if the, um, the black stripes were, um, like, like, um, made out of fabric that was sewn onto his body, they weren't. It's actually made in the form of a dress-like material, so, yeah, just thought I'd let you know about that in case you didn't know. Hang on, let me just organize it a bit. All right, that'll do. All right, now we'll show Homebe in action one more time, so here we go again. And there you go, guys. That's the Chantilly Lane animated home be in action for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.